Another shoot interview gone wrong, this time with Ken Patera being interviewed by Ring of Honor co-founder Gabe Sapolsky. And Ken Patera basically pulls no punches in the way he responds to Gabe Sapolsky during this shoot interview. Let's get right to it and listen to the introduction, which really sets things off on a bad foot. Let's take a listen. Before we start talking about wrestling, of course, you had a very impressive athletic background before you got into wrestling. Um, how did you get into powerlifting and the shot put? You don't know anything about weightlifting, man. Nope. Powerlifting. Powerlifting is bench press, squat, and deadlift. Mm -hmm. You can't go in the Olympic Games in powerlifting. The Olympic Games doesn't allow powerlifting. It's Olympic lifting. When I was there, it was the military press, the two-hand snatch, and the two-hand clean and jerk. If you had one hand, you'd only use one hand. But unfortunately, you won't win anything if you only had one hand or one arm. How, how did, how did so you now, Powerlifting is that's weightlifting, but it's a different form. Okay. 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 We got that straight. Yep. Now again, this is what really sets the foundation of this shoot interview going wrong. Let's take a look when things go really south, and basically it all starts with the interview with Gabe Sapolsky asking Ken Patera about the incident at the McDonald's when Ken Patera was with. The AWA. Let's take a listen. And again, this is a bit much, but this is what went down. At a funny farm, or whatever the wrestlers call it now. Uh, yeah. well, well, we're on the subject of uh, yeah. controversial things. This is something that you know I was going to ask about when you were arrested for uh, what happened at the McDonald's. Um, I don't, uh, fuck you. I don't want to talk about that shit. You want me to choke you out now or later, you cocksucker? I don't talk about that bullshit. We have plenty to talk about. You know, fuck about you know that bullshit about me. It was all set up and everything anyway. I spent two years of my life in that fucking stinky old prison, and uh, you know that was under McMahon's watch. I was wrestling for him when that all that shit went down. Yeah, you know, fuck. Let's move on. Right. Right, sucker. Let's let, let's cut the tape. Uh, let, what, what are your memories? Hey, hey just let's, you know, before we move, don't be asking me anything about that fucking bullshit that, you know, back in the 80s or whenever, you know, about McDonald's, okay? Let's just move on. And after that went down, later on in the interview, things settled down a bit. But then this happened with Ken Patera in the interview as Ken Patera was reading his notes. Let's take a look. Um, one thing we haven't really talked what about. The, shut up. I'm fucking going over some notes here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you want some decent fucking uh, material here? Let me uh, get my head right. The interesting thing about Ken Patera, he's done several shoot interviews where the what happened at McDonald's was asked, and he had real no problems addressing it. But for some reason, this particular day, he wanted nothing to do with it, and obviously not in the best mood during this interview.